Hey folks, just uh, wanted to go over what is mass, and I know this is the first time we're doing this. I recommend that you take notes, feel free to hit the pause button, rewind, whatever it takes to um, get this information down, and when you're done, answer the questions on uh, Edmodo. So, when we talk about mass, we talk about the amount of stuff uh, the matter within an object and everything in the universe that takes up space has mass. So if we take a look at, a, uh, at the units, so these are the units that you're always going to be using for mass, grams. Okay, It's lowercase g for the unit. Um, some common examples, if you're measuring something that is large, like the mass of a car, you're talking about kilograms. Uh, if you check your medications, your aspirins, your prescription medications, they're probably going to be in milligrams or something very small. So the prefix changes, but the base unit right here, grams, does not. So if we take a look at a large object, like an elephant, uh, we know that if we compare it with a smaller one, like a mouse, the larger one's going to have more mass. So the question is, is well, why? And because the elephant has more stuff in it, more mass, more matter than the mouse. However, you got to be careful because not everything that is large is going to have more matter. So take a look at this little boy here holding a, a pretty big beach ball. If we compare that big beach ball, which is, you know, roughly his size or so, and we compare it with something like a brick, and you were to guess, okay, well, which one is going to have more mass? Well, we know that the brick is going to be heavier, but the question is, is, again, is why? And that's because the brick here has more matter, but it's just compacted down. The ball, even though it's much larger, the matter is more spread out. So the brick, in this case, would have more matter, even though it's smaller than the beach ball, which has less matter, less mass, even though it is larger. So here on Earth, we oftentimes use these two things interchangeably. And the reason why I say here on Earth is, is because, for the most part, they're used, they're, they're very similar, the same, but they really are not. Um, so they're not the same. Weight is the amount of gravitational pull on an object's matter. So everything in the universe has a gravitational pull. Uh, something as large as the Earth has more gravitational pull because there's more matter with it. So there's an equation for that, and it's just simply, if in order to figure out something's weight, you get the mass and you multiply it by the, what we call the gravitational pull or the gravitational acceleration. Um, and then you can calculate the weight. If you know your weight and you know the gravitational pull, you can actually calculate your, your mass by just doing a little bit of simple algebra. So let's say that you're one day you're becoming an astronaut and you're on your way to the moon and you land on the moon. If the force of gravity changes, then the object's weight is going to change, but the mass is going to stay the same. In other words, think about it this way. You've seen probably pictures of somebody like Neil Armstrong hopping around on the moon. The reason why he's able to hop around on the moon is because there's a lot less gravity. It's about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. And, but the thing is, is that unless you have physically lost some matter in some way, you know, let's say you go to the, from the Earth to the moon and you end up, I don't know, you only have one arm instead of two arms when you get to the moon for whatever reason, maybe there was an accident, then technically on the moon your mass would be less than on Earth. But if you notice here, the mass between the two is the same. Okay, I'm going by this equation up here, so the weight is here. These are the measurement of weight in the metric system. They're actually, weight is a force of gravity and we use these special things named after Isaac Newton. So these are called Newtons, and it's capitalized because it's a proper, named after a guy's name, so it's a proper name. The mass would be the same. So this is roughly a 100-pound person here on Earth, which converted to the metric system is approximately 45 kilograms. The gravitational pull is different. This means that Earth is able to pull down and accelerate or increase the speed of an object falling towards it much much greater than the object on a moon on the moon because it's roughly about a sixth so it's less 
All I'm saying is there's less gravitational pull on the moon than there is on the Earth. So that changes. Mass stays the same. Look at what happens to the weight of an object. Okay, 441, change the gravity. You decrease the weight down to 72 in this case. Okay, don't worry about the numbers. The numbers are just showing the example. Okay, another example, but using pictures. Here on Earth, you have an object with 10 kilograms of matter. So it has 10 kilograms of stuff in it. It's pulling down. It has a weight of 98 newtons. That's how much Earth is pulling on that object. On the moon, same object, same situation. Okay, You've got this thing called the spring scale. The weight is different, but the mass is the same. Okay, That's very important so if you're you know, working for NASA one day and you've got to actually calculate the weight versus the mass and, you know, take off from, you know, land on the moon and then actually take off. And you have to do things like, for example, if you were collecting rocks from the moon to bring back to Earth, well, they don't weigh that much on the moon, but when you bring them back to the Earth, they're going to weigh a considerable amount more. I mean, you know, imagine the increase here. And if you didn't calculate for that and you're trying to land a spaceship with you know, a thousand pounds of rocks and you only thought they were, you know, 200 pounds on the moon, well, then that could cause a crash. So again, the weight changes, mass does not change unless you literally, physically alter the object itself. And newtons, again, are the unit of force, which is what gravity is, is a force. We measure mass using an electronic balance down here. Um, this is all based off of the principle of this old-fashioned type scale, kind of like a seesaw. If you have a known mass here, and you put a mass here, then you're going to end up having them be the same.